Good afternoon. Well, until a few moments ago, it was uh, <laughs> it was raining pretty seriously, uh, but now it's nice. But I don't know how long this will last, so we may get wet together. The uh, uh, well, the news is jam packed with stuff today. You know, are we part of an assassination plot in Jamaica because these two guys really are two DEA agents, or they're on their own, or they made it up, or with the CIA? Anyhow, Haiti is a mess, a real mess, and uh, kind of a, an international scandal, you might say. So we'll find out more about that. That's going to be a, a series. Gates, you may remember, friends of young women, so they say, well, his associate has put off his sentencing so he can cooperate more, perhaps, against Gates. So that's, uh, that's kind of an unfortunate day for him. We have, uh, in the good news category, this charming young lady, this tiny little girl, I don't know how old she is, Zela Avant-Garde. And uh, she was in a spelling bee contest. And here's the final question for you. If you can spell this, you might've won the spelling bee. Nepeta, it means uh, 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 cat, catnip, I believe. Can you spell it? No? N-E-P-E-T-A. See, it's one of those times when I think phonetics would work. I didn't know what that word was, but I think I would have spelled it that way by sounding it out, unless they said it in some peculiar way. Uh, but this girl <laughs> knew a lot more words than that one, and tougher ones, and some that were not phonetic, and uh, apparently another young lady and her were just dueling at the end. We need more of this stuff, more hero stuff, kids as heroes doing really important stuff. Now, if you see the smile of that kid anywhere, you'll know that she, she enjoyed her achievement. Um, let's see, we, uh, Texas uh, is a very special place uh, for all the wrong reasons. Uh, and solicitations and kind thoughts to the Democrats in Texas who are fighting back like mad. But the state legislature has passed a bill that doesn't allow for abortions after six weeks. Well, that's unconstitutional and probably will be struck down pretty quickly. And so a lot of it's posturing. But they have a second part to it. It's like a private attorney general rule, which is uh, you may sue someone who is violating this abortion, anti-abortion law. Uh, you can sue them in court and you can actually get rewards for doing it. What is wrong with these people? I also think that'll be declared unconstitutional for 18 different reasons. Uh, I think we see people who don't appreciate the law, have no respect for it, uh, who are proposing cases that are nonsensical and unconstitutional. I think they're hoping we'll lose the moorings of deliberate thought, critical thought, uh, even as they rail against uh, critical race theory, which they apparently don't understand, is nothing more than reporting the, our history, good and the bad. So uh, the uh, another thing is Texas is trying to pass the terrible Voting Rights Act that they think is necessary. And what's uh, really terrible about that, of course, is what is cinema and mansion doing how how can you sit in the congress and not think this is important to the entire nation not not just in an electoral cycle but going forward forever to compromise our democracy by letting there be suppression of the vote actually forcing people to uh, not be able to vote freely it's a it's a scandal and it's hard to believe it's happening in this country, but it is. And so we have to get over our, our surprise and fight back. Right mansion, right cinema, ask them what's wrong with them. You see what these Republicans are doing and saying they're doing, and you're talking about bipartisanship? What a nutsy idea that is. And finally, the last of the ambiguous news that comes to my mind is Pfizer thinks we're gonna need a booster. Uh, and it's pushing for it. Now the question is, what do the others think? And is it a booster that is planned to take care 
of the Delta variant that we're talking about in the case of the virus. So that's kind of what I see going on now. The, uh, this weekend I'm going to be talking about a little politics at a gathering I told you about on Sunday. I'm looking forward to that, to hear what I'll know. And I'll, I'll talk about it when, after it's happened. Uh, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. So have a good day. <laughs> Stay dry. Bye-bye.